Welcome everybody to Our Green Acres. And if you are new to my channel, my name is Teresa. And y'all, I wanna wish everybody again a happy new year to 2023. It is crazy, isn't it? But we are getting the year off to a great start. I've got some really fun projects in today's video. And I'm gonna show y'all how we can take one piece of beautiful decoupage paper and we're gonna do several projects with it. And also stay to the end because I'm gonna show you how we can take some mannequin dress forms and we can really embellish them and make a really pretty little shabby chic skirt for them. So I hope y'all enjoy the video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that red subscribe button so we can stay friends. Y'all, let's get started. The first project I'm gonna show you is this white pedestal. I think this is like a tray or a, a cake stand, but I got it at Target a few years ago and I think it was $5. You know, those were so trendy back a few years ago and I know a lot of y'all probably like me, I had a couple of them. But I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna apply some new transfers that I got. So if you're into the blue and white right now that is so trendy, you're gonna love these transfers. Now I'm just gonna apply this little angel because with Valentine's right around the corner, I thought this was so appropriate. But this is a piece that we can leave out all year long. And I will leave a link to the transfers that I just used down in my description box. The next project is going to be a couple of hearts. Now, I have not went out and purchased any Valentine's supplies this year. I'm really working out of my bins of things that I had packed up from last year. But y'all, I have a huge supply on hand. So I think we've got plenty of stuff to create some really pretty stuff. But I think these little hearts came from Dollar General and you got two together. But you can also a lot of times find these at Dollar Tree. Now I'm taking the Sweet Lambs transfers. Again, you get three sheets of these to a pack like the blue and white ones. These are very inexpensive and they add such a great little detail to your projects. Now on the next heart, I'm going to add another one of the blue and white transfers and like I told y'all with the blue and white ones I will have the sweet lamb transfers linked down in my description also but these are some really good ones to have these you can use just about all year long and I didn't mention I did go over both my hearts with some white chalk paint I did a couple of layers and I just applied my transfers and I just stressed them around the edges with a sanding block now I'm going to show you when you're out thrifting or yard sales or even go through your jewelry at home and you may find some costume jewelry you don't wear anymore. And this I picked up at a yard sale and it, I loved all the little hearts on it. So I grabbed it throughout the year knowing around Valentine's it would come in handy and sure enough it is. But this just makes a great way. Now you can embellish your hearts any way you want to. You can add these little you know, heart charms to it. You can add ribbons and bows. You can add totally dazzled jewelry to your hearts. Pretty much anything you want to do. You know, at this point, this is the fun of it. And I did go back and I added the little key on there too. But I just added back the little wire hangers to them. And now I think these made some really cute little unique hearts that we can set out all year long and especially around Valentine's. <laughs> Okay, the next project is going to be another heart. Now, this is a pretty large, I guess it's a medium-sized wood heart, and I'm not sure where I got this from, so I'm going to show you the back sticker. Possibly it come from Dollar Tree or Hobby Lobby, but I'm going to take this piece of decoupage paper, and y'all can see how large it is. It's an 8 by 11, even larger than that, and it was only $3.49. I'm about to show you how we can make three different, four different projects out of this one piece of decoupage paper. Because y'all, I'm not gonna waste any part of this beautiful paper. 
but for three dollars we're going to get our money's worth but i'm going to take this heart and anytime you use decoupage paper you want to start out with a white background so i painted my my heart white and i'm just decoupaging in sections place your paper over your your heart and then hold it down and do the bottom section with you know mod podge in my case i'm using diy liquid patina and then i'm going to go over it with a brayer and i'm going to smooth it out really well just be careful not to tear your paper but this paper it to me is pretty sturdy but once it dries then you want to go around the edges with a sanding block or a piece of sanding paper or an emery board and just go around and sand down your edges and you'll get a really smooth finish. Your laughter takes me to heaven. I just want to make you repeat it and repeat it again. Yeah, you make the sky so blue. No, nothing's complicated. Now I'm going to give you some ideas of how we can embellish that heart a little bit more. I'm going to show you how we can make a really rustic, primitive-like tassel. Now I'm going to use some coffee-stained flower sack cloth, and a lot of times you can pick up flower sack cloths. You can get a, a pack of 8, 10, or 12 at Walmart in the dish towel section. So just stain it with tea or coffee, whatever you have on hand. And then I just took a little, I think it's a little wooden board out of the crafting section at Dollar Tree. I just cut the twine off of it. And I'm just using this as my, my pattern. Because I'm, what I'm doing is I'm just looping my torn strips of my flower sack cloth around this. And I'm going to wrap it maybe 10 to 15 times, just depending on how full of a tassel you want. And once you get them wrapped, then you just want to pull them off your, your, your board, your little pattern that I had. And then just tie it around the top really good. I do knots just to secure it. And then you want to tie a loop in the top. And that's how easy a tassel is to make. Now when you get to the bottom, you just want to pull it down really good. Make sure you cut through those that were looped. And then go across and trim it up really good. And now we've got a really pretty tassel. Now you can use this tassel on so many things, but I'm going to show you how we can add it to the tip of this heart. Now I'm just going to tie little knots going all the way up just to kind of, you know, I don't know. I had a different idea for it to hang it at the bottom. So you really don't have to do this part because I ended up gluing it to the back. So now we've got a pretty little tassel to go on the tip of the heart. Now I'm going to show you another little trick. Take a little baby headband. Now I got two to a pack of these, I think at Burke's Outlet, which is equivalent to a little, a smaller size TJ Maxx. But you can pick up these little headbands most everywhere. But just take your little headband, wrap it around your heart, and it's gonna be tight at first. But just get it on there, and once you get it on there, you can get it situated and get it, you know, in the area that you want it. And then just fluff it out, and now we've got a really pretty little embellishment for our heart. Just using something that was already made, you know, and like I say, on the package that I got, I got two little baby headbands. I got this pink one, and I also got a white one, but these make great project pieces. So when you see these out in the stores, make sure to pick them up. Now for the hanger, I just tied a little piece of lace that I got at Dollar Tree. I just tied a little knot in the bottom to make a loop, and I'm just going to hot glue it on the back. Now we've got a great hanger for it. Okay, do y'all remember that decoupage paper we were currently working on? <laughs> well, let's do some more with it. Like I told y'all, this is a huge piece of decoupage paper for a little over $3. But I'm going to take another one of these little hearts. These I got at Dollar General last year. And But like I say, when you see these, pick these up because they make great project pieces and you can do so many things with them. But I just removed the sticker and I used that little 
that little razor blade that I have, I got that at Amazon. I'm going to have that linked in my store, but it is great for removing stickers. Then I'm just going to take a little piece of sandpaper and just kind of go over that little sticky section and the place where I just pulled out the little twine hanger. I'm going to go over the heart with a little bit of um, chalk paint because like I told y'all, when you use decoupage paper, a white background is going to work the best. Now, since my paper was cut up from the previous project, I had to lay it over it just to assure that it would cover the heart completely, and it does. So, again, I'm just applying my liquid patina to it in sections, and then I'll roll it out again, smooth it really good with my brayer. And once it dries, again, we'll go around the edges with a piece of sandpaper and just sand it around the edges just to get a smooth finish. Now, this heart turns out really pretty. And again, now we've got a really pretty piece that you can embellish. We know just about with, you can do bows, you can put hangers on it. You know, a lot of times people will have a Valentine's tree. And I think these would make great little ornaments for it. Now, I'm going to take a piece of Totally Dazzled jewelry this is one of their um, rhinestone appliques it comes with a stick on a sticky back you just unpeel paper and it'll stick and i've used this on several several projects so you can actually remove it and reuse it so i'm going to leave a link to totally dazzled down below but y'all know i love their bling and all their jewelry Now I'm going to show you how we can make another heart. I think we're on heart number three, and this is the decoupage paper that just keeps on going. But we still have plenty left, and I'm not going to waste it because I have all kinds of hearts, and I have different sizes. And this one, I think I got it uh, Target Dollar Spot a couple years ago. I think I just paid a dollar for it. And again, you just want to paint it white. And this little decoupage paper in the corner has some really pretty French writing. And once my liquid patina was dry, I just, I'm just going to go around with some scissors and remove some of the excess paper. Then I'll take my sandpaper, go around the edges, and remove the excess paper. And again, remember to use your nail file for those little hard-to-get places and now we've got a really cute little heart that we can set in like a little dough bowl and I just go through poke the hole back through with a pencil and now I can add some ribbon and I added a piece of totally dazzled jewelry to this one Okay, for the final heart, because I'm getting down to the last of my decoupage paper, but I'm going to take another one of these little Dollar General hearts. But this one, I'm going to take the little attachment. It had a little heart attached to it that is metal. I'm just going to go over it with my white paint. Then I'll go over it with liquid patina, and I'm going to put some of that decoupage paper that I had left over, and then I'm just going to place it on the little heart. So like I say, don't waste your decoupage paper. Even though you've got it cut up, once you put it on something, it doesn't even look like, you know, you've cut it up. It looks like it was meant to be in that design. Line. And then once it dries, I go around it with my sandpaper. And now we've got another great little heart that we can attach, you know, to some of our other projects. We can just layer these hearts in, and like I say, in our dough bowls and just set them out for Valentine's. And these make great little ornaments if you have a Valentine's tree. <music> Before I saw the little heart, I want to show y'all y'all this little precious ballerina doll that I got at Goodwill for $1.99. She is so cute and she's jointed. I think she's probably like some type of an ornament because she has a hanger. And then I got the other little doll at Goodwill and I think I paid 99 cents for her. So just another great addition and things that you can look for at the thrift stores. Because I don't know about y'all, but ever since I was a child, I have always been fascinated with dolls. So when I seen these, I knew I had to pick these up 
And this is just another great addition we can add to our Valentine themed areas in our home. Just fill them with the things that bring you joy and that you love. And I also wanted to point out, I added another piece of Tully Dazzle Bling to this heart and a really pretty little lace ribbon. And I'm just gonna put it in a little dough bowl with some little yarn balls that I made and some little woven hearts. And these came from Target. Now I want to show you a really easy way that we can make some vintage Valentine postcards. And I'm going to show you at the end of the video of how we can style these. But these are so easy to make. Just take some of those leftover Christmas gift boxes, flatten them out, and you can also use poster board. These are just a few graphics that I have printed out over time off the Graphics Fairy. I have a folder and a lot of times when I find things on Graphics Fairy, I'll go ahead and print it even though I won't use it and I keep it in a folder. But I did go out and select some, some new ones and they do have a great selection for Valentine's. So just go out, check out their website. They have a ton of free downloads. So I'll have a link to the Graphics Fairy in my description box. But I'm just taking some that I that I like that I thought would make great vintage type postcards and I'm just applying them to the gift, ba uh, gift box with a good glue stick. Now I love vintage women and Graphics Fairy has a good selection of those also. So I printed out some of those. So, you know, just go out and, you know, print out the ones that you like. You know, if you like more like shabby chic or French themed, you know, or you like more of the like little retro Valentines, they have those too. Now I'm gonna use my Cricut uh, cutter but if you don't have one of these, you could always use scissors. But I love my, my straight cutter because it really gives everything that smooth finish and I don't have to worry about it going crooked when I cut it myself with the scissors. Now, I love this girl right here. I've showed her in several videos and I've, I've put her little face on different projects because she's absolutely beautiful. And you can blow these up in different sizes. You can print them out in four by six or five by seven or eight by 10. You can even do legal size. So just depending on the size of your project, you know, and like these, I think I did these um, on four by six, so they would be like a postcard size. And once I got them finished, I just went in, I attached them with some little mini clothespins, and you can pick these up at Dollar Tree. And I also threw in some old family photos. Now the next project is going to be this heart frame. Now I picked this up at a yard sale for 75 cents and I absolutely love this because there's so much we can do with it. But I'm just going to paint this white, but you can paint it whatever color that you want, but I'm just going to cover up that writing on it. But we're going to leave the little frame part because I'm going to show you how we can put a really pretty little vintage image in it. But I'm using a stencil. This is a Jamie Ray Vintage stencil and I'll have these stencils linked down below but you get a pack of these and I'm just going to use part of it that way it went in that that area down there in the bottom of my heart now for the framed part of my frame I'm going to use my favorite girl that I downloaded from the graphics fairy and she's going to go really good in that little frame part but now to add some embellishment to it, I'm going to use a little burlap flower with some lace and also those little flowers and those come from Hobby Lobby on the wedding aisle. So I'm just going to embellish it with some little flowers in, the, in this little corner and then this is going to be done. So, you know, just another little idea. If you find little pieces like this at the thrift store, just another idea of how you can embellish them and fix them up and set them out for Valentine's.
Now I'm going to show y'all how I embellish my mannequin dress form. Now I'm going to, I have a mannequin just like this, so I've got it linked in my Amazon store. It's very inexpensive and I've had mine for years and I love her. And I'm also going to use some of these little table, sa uh, table chair sashes. I've introduced these in a previous video also, but they're very inexpensive and they come from a company called the Tablecloth Factory and I'll have a link for them down below. But I just took them and I had them on hand one day. I wanted to make a tutu for my mannequin, but I did not want to go out to the store. So I just kind of got in my supplies and I gathered up some lace. I got some tool and I got these um, chair sashes that I had on hand. And these made a great tutu for my mannequin form. Now I'm about to show you on a metal mannequin form that I have. And y'all, if y'all followed my channel for very long, y'all know I love mannequin forms and I have several. But this little metal mannequin form, it came from a yard sale and I think I paid $5 for it. But all you want to do is you want to tie something around the waist of your mannequin form and I just used a piece of tulle. Now for this little mannequin form, I'm having to get pretty creative because I've already used a lot of the things that I already had on hand on my larger one that I just showed you. But this one is small, so I think we can work with her. But I had some lace on hand, and a lot of times you can get this at Walmart and Hobby Lobby, and you can get it cut by the yard. And I just cut it in strips, and I'm just going to use um, the lace, how much lace that I have. I'm not going to cover the back, but I do put two panels on the sides, and the back I'm just going to leave, you know, as is. Because you'll never, I, it, where I'm putting her, you won't see the back. But if you are going to see the back of your mannequin form, then you'll want to go all the way around. Now I'm tying everything in knots at the top. And I'm doubling the tool because the tool is, you know, it's very sheer and it's thin. And I'm just placing up up in that little sash that I tied on her waist. And then too, this is going to make, a, a, I don't know, it kind of makes it look like it's got rosettes around the waistband when we get finished. And I'm just going around and I'm just putting this in, you know, like little panels. And I'll go around until I get the fullness and the desired look that I want. But you, like I say, you know, you get the, the items that you may want to add to yours or just go through like, like I did this day. I didn't feel like going to the store. And I just kind of went through some of the fabrics that I had and I just used what I had on hand. And I also found this really pretty... Um, this is like a velvet, and I got this on the clearance aisle at Hobby Lobby over a year ago. So I found this, and I've got enough to make a couple of strips, panel strips of it. So I'm just going to add it in just to add a little bit of color to her. But you can get creative here and put it, you know, you can make your mannequin form any color you want. So I'm going to leave it just like this, and then I'm going to go in on the tops, and if I've got any of the the little tails from where I tied the knots, if they're a little bit too big, I'm just going to trim them down. And like I say, just leave those little tops like that. And I think that waistband looks really pretty. Now, here she is. And like I say, this makes a great little, um, little piece now that we can set out for Valentine's and we can attach our little vintage, little Valentine postcards on it. And, you know, I'll probably leave this on her all year long. So now I've got a couple of my mannequin forms. I've got them done. They're all dressed up and they're ready for Valentine's. I hope you got lots of inspiration and ideas today, and I hope you'll go out and make some of these things. And if you do, make sure to go over and post them over on my home decor page on Facebook. Until the next video, y'all, Happy New Year. I love y'all, and I'll see you soon.